Right folks, I am back. Me and June are back. She's just doing a bit of tidying up while this is all sorting. Right, what has happened folks, with the um, sponsorship I've got from Beerhawk, they have asked me to promote their perfect draft machine. What do you reckon June? Hmm. Boys and the toys. Boys and the toys. I think she's probably right. Boys and the toys. If you are a female and watching this and don't know what to wear, you could be a male who's got a husband as well. Let's not get into that. Uh, and you're looking for something to buy for a Christmas present. This could be the answer to see their little blue or green or brown eyes light up when they rip the wrapping off this. Hmm. The only thing that would be better than that is you. Ripping the wrapping off you, Junie, baby. Is that right? Yes. Oh. Yeah. You got nothing to add? No. 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 <laughs> June's sitting there thinking, where's he going to keep that? Anyway, one day I'm going to have a bar. Um, yeah, so what it is, folks, it's the perfect draft machine. Beerhawk have uh, sent me one over kindly to uh, review for them. Or, well, not review, I suppose they just want me to... Have a go. Have a go. Now, you can probably see the sweat pouring off my head here. Why? Oh, I'm sitting next to the radiator, June, isn't I? Oh. Yeah, radiator. It's warm. Uh, so what it is, folks, um, it's a £200 gift, this. It's probably, some people are saying, oh, that's a bit expensive or whatever, but I don't think it is, to be fair. Well, I if think... you're a professional beer drinker, yeah. if you like your beer, then it's not that much, is it? I mean, the, what it does, it's, um, it puts in, a, what I've, I've emptied the box already, it's already taken out for you folks. Um, you get a keg. You plug it in, you leave it for 12 hours, uh, or 10 to 12 hours, and it's cooling. Uh, you can get all these leffy things. Well, they've got quite a lot of them leffies. What oh, that one we had? Well, the that blonde. One? We, had, we, had, we had a blonde, didn't we? Yeah, we had a blonde with the uh, thingy, didn't we? Yeah. But then we had the other one, and I didn't like that one. Yeah, so we had, I mean, they've got Stella. They've got, how do you say that again, Junie? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to have like, Uliper. Uliper. Uh, Uliper. Somebody told you how to say it, didn't they? Upilot. Upilot. Belgian, I think. Um, you got your Becks, uh, your Stellas, and all these um, different ones. Um, Lol and Brow. So, if you are actually thinking about whatever you can buy the old man, or your dad, or your brother, or something. Actually, that would be quite a good present for I a think wife it to would. buy a husband, because yeah. men are notoriously hard to buy for. Yes. Aren't they? Yeah. And so yeah, if, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, you know, I, I actually wanted one of these for Christmas, but I knew I'd never buy you one. Yeah, June would never buy me one. June would buy me a pair of Crocs <laughs> or a Tom Hardy poster. Well, to be fair, we don't do Christmas. We don't do Christmas presents, do we, June? But this, it'd be pretty good, I think. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, it would be. If you got, yeah, if you got somebody who likes beer, yeah, that'd be a good present. Who's a, not a. You know, who drinks responsible, who just likes a pint after they've just paid out 15 quid to watch the bloody football on Sky. But when all this situation is over, then it'd be good to have mates round to watch the football and have well, that, wouldn't it? I mean, you know, even, the, you know, parts of the uh, country are still allowing people to come round to the house. And if you've got your six round for Christmas, you know, a couple of you can sit there and drink this. Um, what is the size of the machine? The machine is um, a width of 286mm, that's precision isn't it? Mm. Uh, a depth of 493 and a height of 444, including the handle. We guarantee the beer machine fits in any kitchen or man cave. <laughs> it's not going in my kitchen. It's not going in June's kitchen. No, we don't even have a toaster because I don't want yeah. to cut through the work. Yeah, we don't have a lot of uh, stuff on the uh, things here. Uh, the beer is cooled within 12 hours at room temperature, 23 degrees Celsius, to a chilled 3 degrees Celsius. We recommend pre-cooling a keg so the optium, optium, optimum uh, drinking temperatures reached even faster. The beer machine should not be operated at temperatures higher than 32 degrees. Can I just say something? It okay. says there, categorically says there, that room temperature is 20, 23 degrees. Why will you never let me put the eating on above 18? That is bloody cold. Yeah, well, put a coat on. Uh, but then again, no one should be working it when it's that hot. Uh, technical requirements, perfect draft machine, pulls a maximum power of 70 watts, average of 40 watt. There's a few of them at my place, 40 watt light bulbs, yeah. Which is less than the TV. 
Mm. Well, we never have our TV on, really, do we, Julie no. Baber? Uh, perfect traffic requires a voltage of 220, 240 volts, and all that standard stuff. Well, actually, we do have the telly on, don't we? We're watching, listening, or listening to the radio. Yes. <laughs> so, what we're going to do, folks, yeah, we do listen to the radio on the TV. Um, I'm going to put this on the floor. Do you want to put that on the floor over there, Julie Baber? I Thank can. you. Thank you very much, sweetheart. Have you got it? Yeah. Look at that strength. Like Wonder Woman. Right. So here we. Oh! Oh, oh it's a chair. Thought I needed to knock my light over. Um, Actually, it's not that big, is it? No. <laughs> that sounded rude, didn't it? Not really. Not really. It's not that big, is it? Right, and there it is. So what we're going to do... Oh, I've left the bloody keg in the bloody conservatory. Would you get that for me, sweetheart? Can you manage it? Which one? Um, any will do. Bring the one with the, um, the monk on the front. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, she says. Uh, just grab hold of it and uh, tug it. It's really dark in here, isn't it? Well, I know it is. Have you got it? Yes. Now then, folks, what I've done, like, my, oh, look at the strength of her. Now, what I've done is I've not paid any attention to the instructions or anything like which that. Which is part of the course. Which is part of the course with me. So, like most men, we all know best, even though this is a promotion for Beer Hawk, I do apologise to the Beer Hawk lot, but uh, this is how men work. You wanted, you wanted somebody who's different to review your stuff. You could not have found anybody more different than me. Ain't that right, Junior Baby? I thought you said this has got a monk on. What, oh, it's a king. It's a king. It's a king. It's a king. Right, quick guide. Leave at least 10 centimetres free space around the applicants, applicants, appli appliance. I tell you what, I can read the word, but I can't say it. Mm. Do you ever get that problem, folks? You just can't read, let's be honest. Nah, I can't read. I feel bad for myself, though. Right, what are these, anyway? Are they magnets? Oh, sweet. Well, they're magnets. For what? I don't know. We'll find out as this goes on. Is this the instructions? They're the instructions. Come on, Juni, baby. Tell me what it's about. Leave it at least 10 centimetres free space around the appliance. Oh, so I can't shove it up against the wall then? Well, it's just the back wall. It's the uh, the plug in it. No, it says all the way around. All right, fair enough. Uh, do not expose the appliance to direct sunlight or place near a heat source. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lower my legs. Leave the there. ventilation openings free from obstructions. That's why you can't push it against the wall. All right. I do apologise for this, folks. I thought it'd be all right on the table, but you know, this is how I work, so you're going to get used to it. Come on. I am coming on. Bloody hell, woman. How's that look? All right, we're there. Hey, ah, that's better. Right. Right. So, remove the tube from the tap unit. The ah, tube. I'm this bit. All right, yeah. Is it? I don't know. It looks a bit like it. Yeah. Right, I've got to rinse that under the tap. You go rinsing that under the tap, well, sweetness. I'm going to get that out there, am I? I don't know. I hope the lurch has come to have a look. Lurch, yeah, you open that, you've got the knife there. Do you want to use the scissors? Hello. No, you can't go under there. People are all thinking, he's going to cut himself. He's going to spend the night in bloody casual tech. <laughs> He'll have to have his temperature taken before he goes in. Oh, it's got a bit of glue there. There we go, Juni. So I've got to rinse the whole lot under the tap. Yeah. And I've not got to dry it. Not got to dry it. Right, uh, 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 uh. right, so we can plug this in. Because this is what it's like, really, isn't it, folks? When all said and done, this is what, you know. I suppose you get the few in the uh, in the world, June, who do 
you know, well, they read it all properly, don't they? No, you? the majority of men start it and the wives end up reading the instructions because they're falling out with themselves. Yeah, that's There's right. There's pipe. Well, right. So, once you've rinsed the pipe under the what's it, rinse the entire tap unit thoroughly under a tap. Do not use a brush or dry the tap unit. Place the tap unit onto the keg by pushing down firmly. Where does that go? Does that come out? Hold on, don't. That's it here, look. Push the in. Right, so you've washed it. I've done that, we're onto this bit. Oh, hold on, we're onto this bit. Right, we're onto the. Oh, you've got to shove it in there, have you? Is that what I should have rinsed under the tap? Probably. Oh, let's rinse that under the tap. This is the bit you should rinse under the tap. Yeah, look at that. That looks good, doesn't it? All shiny and blue. It's got the colour blue on it. So we know what that means. Blue pump man. I suppose we have got to rip that off, haven't we? I don't know. It doesn't say that. It says push it down on there. Does it? Doesn't it? We've got to take that off, shouldn't it, we? It doesn't say take that off. I think you've got to take it off. I don't think you have. Let's have a look. Oh, this is brilliant. Basically Espanol, you... Dutch. English. Here we go. English. Right. Ah, here we go then, sweetheart. So. Uh, hold on, it says... Uh, Ah, here we go, here we go, lover. Right, right, and okay, put, before using, install the drip tray. Yes, I wanted to do this. Put the drip tray in. Dude, the drip tray won't go in. Can you insert my drip tray? Where's it going now? Yeah. Or does it just rest in? I think it just rests in. Oh, it just rests in, doesn't it? Ah, I bet it does, so you can just... Oops. Well, anyway, take the ladders. That's it, that's it. It's that's in. it, anyway. It's in. Uh, right, attach the tap handle. This? Yeah. To what? To that. No, I know. Uh, no. That, yeah. That's it. Does is it, it screw in or push in? Attach the handle, it just says number five, which is place the preferred medallion. Oh, they're medallions. They're oh. both the same. What, where's that going in? Yeah, goes in there. That's all right for now. Uh, right. Always clean the tap. Well, you've done that, ain't you, sweetheart? You've done that, you've cleaned that. Do we have to take this bit off, though? Oh, just have a look now. Uh, check the tube release button works properly when you press the blue tube release button. So, presumably that... I don't know, babe. I think that's got. I'm sure that's got a. Cover. Don't put it off. Read it. We don't say. I don't care. You don't just yuck it off. What do you think? <sighs> it does say that there's an error. Don't pull it off. Doesn't say take it off, it says you just gotta push it. It says put the tap unit onto the connection top of the keg by pushing down firmly. Hold on. Yeah, well that's got an arrow. Why would it have an arrow if it's Because says... that's just telling you perhaps where it goes, is it? I don't know. It's all in foreign. Oh, hold on. Read the instructions. Oh, for fuck's sake. I think we take that off because there's no way that is going to go through that. Right, you've pulled it off now. Does it all come off? Right, there you go then. It's just strength and manpower. You'll be punished for that later. Right. So, How right dare you now. Be right. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now then, hold on. Let's have a look. Right. right no, listen. Yeah. Push the top unit onto the connection top of the keg, keg by pushing down firmly. Is this right? Can you show me the picture, please? So, uh, right. So, so you just push, so it down. push that down and click. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, that's it. Oh, it's fizzing. There you go. Right. Oh, I can play it being barmaid. Oh, yes. Yes. We've always had this thing where June was a barmaid. <laughs> right, so. Uh, insert the flexible tube That's that first into the bit body tap. Yeah, where's it? It's there. So, into in, the tap. So this goes up here, does it? I think it goes in there. Is it? Yeah, it does. Goes all the way in. Yeah. Slide the projections yeah. of the tube connector under the hinges. Yeah, but hold on. Let's... Yeah, but the. Uh... Is that it? I think so. Just push that down. Yeah. I think. Right. Place the keg into the appliance. How? Uh, do this. All right. Oh, right. Oh. Look at that. Oh, God, can you imagine this if it was on the generation game and it was like going by and you'd be saying, cuddly toy. That's fucking brilliant. Go on, let's stick it in. And we're back, folks. We've not even been away. Uh, for some reason, my camera's only set up for 15 minutes. I don't know, it's something to do with the quality. I don't know why. Anyway, but this is brilliant. Like I said, if this was a generation game, you'd be going, cuddly toy, perfect draft. Perfect draft, cuddly toy, perfect draft, keg of beer. Tea's made. Tea's made. You wouldn't remember the tea's made though. Fucking would. The amount of tea you drink, lover. Right, so what do we do? Oh, it's got instructions on the inside. Go on then. Right, so what do we do? Just plonk it in? Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, we've done that, we've done that. Hold on. Hold on. So we've, got slide the, we've opened the door. Lift the two yeah. blue locking levers. How? Well, I don't know. How do you lift them? Beer or how do you lift them? Hold on, there's got to be a sign here. Um. Don't break it, June. Oh, look Just at pull that. it out and up. Up and out and up. There we go. Right, that's in. Yeah. Tilt the keg with the assembled tap unit slightly forward, put it into the appliance. First put the keg on the cooling plate of the appliance, then put the keg upright by sliding the tap unit between the two locking levers. Push down the blue locking levers until they are Oh, it's clicked in. Yeah, until Ooh. they're in the horizontal position. What is going? Is that it? You can hear it! With a bit- What? <laughs> it's the line! Whoa! Fucking hell, what's going on? I don't know, there's something lit up it. Do we shut that now? I don't know, you read- you got the instructions, uh, baby. I've done that. I'll tell you what, if- Close the doors. How do you do that? I said close the doors. They're closed! So we just sit here and wait now for 10 hours. It's a bit like a microwave, only after, backwards. After you have installed the keg, the appliance automatically starts to cool the keg. At an ambient, ambient temperature of 23 degrees, chilling on uncooled kegs takes 12 to uncooled 15 hours. Uncooled kegs? Uncooled kegs. <laughs> uncooled keg takes 12 to 15 hours. But if you want to use it straight away, you can actually pre-chill the yeah, keg. Yeah, stick them in the fridge. Yeah. So, but we've not done that. We're doing it properly for Yeah, we're going to do it properly, folks. And that's it, is it? That's about it, really. But uh, you're dying to have a pull on that lever, no, aren't you? No, I'm not going to, though. No. The temperature is shown here. Yeah. And it says... No. What temperatures does it ask? Well, it says 30 at the bottom and 16 at the top. Hmm. So 16... So wait until the beer has reached the right drinking temperature. The temperature is shown on the display in green. It's the top one. 
I bet that'll go green. When it reaches the right temperature. Zoom in. Oh, I'm zooming, yeah, zooming in. Wait until the temperature of the keg has dropped below four degrees C before you start to pour beer. The ideal drinking temperature is three degrees. The colour of the temperature displayed tells you if the beer has reached the right drinking temperature. Red, the top one, the beer temperature is not yet for ready for ideal consumption. So it's actually at 16 degrees at the moment. 16 degrees? Yeah, so that's, that's the temperature of the keg. Yeah. Which means the beer head may be too large. What are these little ducks here, though, sweetness? Uh, I don't know. Just reading that. Green, the beer has reached the right temperature of four degrees or below for consumption. And that means let's get this party started. Yeah. The yellow orange yeah. level indication on this display shows the amount of beer left in the keg. Well, in that's good, isn't it? In eight steps. Uh, so if you use 20 CL glasses, you can pour approximately 30 glasses of beer from one keg. If you use 33 CL glasses, you can pour approximately 18 glasses. Well, you just stick your gob under the tap. Yeah, turn it on. You? Yeah. Like a water fountain. Yeah, like a water fountain, June. Yeah. Uh, the freshness indication tells you how long the beer is still fresh. Where's that then? Where's the, oh, this is, is this the numbers? With the bottom. So is 30 the freshest? When you place the keg in the new appliance, the freshness indication shows the beer in the keg stays fresh for 30 days. So yeah, that's that bottom one. <clears throat> the indication counts down from 30 to zero days. Once the keg has been opened, the beer stays fresh for 30 days. But that won't be lasting long. I'll tell you, that's good though, isn't it? It is. That, that is, is shit good. up. Yeah. That is really good. So if you just have a drink at the weekends, just a couple of pints, mm -hmm. and it'd be ideal, wouldn't it? I'm going to love this. Do you do know we're leaving the teenagers in the house over the weekend? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <sighs> this is going to be good, Judy, baby. Mm. I think this is one of the best things you've ever bought, mate. That's all right. You're worth it. <laughs> no, no, I don't think it was the best thing I ever bought you, was it? No. That little skimpy outfit that you wear. That no. No, 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 no. 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 Definitely <laughs> bloody not. You don't have the heating eye enough for skimpy no. outfits. No, that's true. I have to go to bed in my dressing gown. Why have I got that? Are you baking some cakes? No, I think that's to clean all the nozzle and that, yeah. is it? Perhaps, maybe. I hope I'm not going to be like the pub I used to drink in, in the village. Uh, and he used to have dirty pipes. Oh, you don't want a dirty pipe. No, you don't want a dirty pipe. Needs a good flushing out. Yeah. So, this is it, folks. Um, that, that was quite simple to do really in the end, wasn't it? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, I've swallowed the wrong way. Good girl. Um, yeah, so this is, I, I honestly believe, folks, um, if you are looking for a birthday present, Christmas present, Christmas, isn't it really, because this is what Christmas But is. you know what, if my dad was alive, he'd have been mad yeah. up with that, because yeah. we used to have big Christmas do's. Yeah. And New Year's Eve do is he'd have loved that, sat upon the side, yeah. right, in the living room. He'd probably had three though, wouldn't he, your oh, yeah. man? Because he never that. did things by half. Um, but the, I honestly do believe if you are struggling, I mean, I know what's happening in the world and people <laughs> haven't got the I amount believe. of. I do believe. Um, I believe, right, that I know things are tough at this moment for some people and we haven't all got money to spare. But if you were looking for something to... Did, would they get a discount on this? I think you might get a discount. I know there was a discount before. Just put the code BBM10 in. You'll either get it or you won't. Um, but do they get it on the kegs? This anyway? is what I'm saying. On the kegs, you, you, I think you'll get it on the kegs. I'm just not sure about the perfect draft machine. But I don't know. Um, whatever. I think it's worth 200 quid. Yeah, so ladies, if you're struggling... To buy your old mum for something for Christmas. Yeah. Get it one of them. You're impressed with this, I can I tell. Am impressed when with she that. first opened it, it was like, oh, Where am I going to put that? Yeah, what's well, look, though, it's a bit more stainless steel for me to polish up. Yeah. You're good at polishing stuff, though, aren't you? Yeah, but I don't. Oh, stainless steel drives me potty, but to be fair. We've got stainless steel blenders at work, and they're a bastard to clean. Yeah. They well, do stain. stainless steel, mm. isn't it? Uh, but I'm, I'm repeating myself now, but this. 
you were, when I first seen your face, I thought, oh, fucking hell, she's going to go against this. I know it. But as it's happened, as it's turned out, you've actually got a smile on your face, ain't you? Yeah. I think we might actually enjoy this, babe. I think if the, if the beer lasts for 30 days... Yeah, because we're not big drinkers. We're not, are... we're not big drinkers. When we do have a drink, we do like to sit down and have a beer when you're cooking on a Sunday or yeah. I'm, get, I'm prepping the and veg. And just like half a lager or something. Yeah, and that is ideal. And, to, and we could, we'll we find somewhere for this. This will either go in the conservatory or something. Um, I'll, I'll put a shelf up or I'll put a now, shelf up in the garage. We're having a puppy at the weekend. Mm. We're having a puppy at the weekend. We don't want it getting on to that. No, a pissed up uh, Labradoodle. <laughs> That'll be funny. Um, but no, I honestly believe, I mean, I've been looking at these for a while and I'll be honest with you, I was going to buy one anyway. <laughs> but she didn't know that. You know when you've got blokes got some twitching in his brain and that. Um, but this is just... No. No. No, you can't do free thinking by yourself. It's not allowed. No, I can't do free. I end up setting up YouTube channels. Yeah. And going, That's the last... and, and going through the roof with them. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, what we're going to do, folks, we're going to leave this and... Um, come back tomorrow. We'll come back and have a... Well, you won't. You won't have to wait till tomorrow because it'll be there like that. Joined on. Um, but um, yeah, we'll see how you're dying to pull that, ain't you? Yeah, I am. I'm not going to, though. No, because we're going to do it all in one go and um, enjoy it. So, right. Yeah. So we'll see you in about 0.005 seconds and uh, you'll see how we're going to get on. See you in a bit. Laters. What are you doing? I've got hair. Yeah. Uh, uh, right, folks, we are back. You have not missed one second of this because, well, we did the we, we did the actual review on the setting it up setting on the it. Tuesday. Was it the Tuesday or Monday? Two days ago, anyway, wasn't it? Yeah, because it says on there. It says two on there. days. Two days ago, you see on yeah, here. You get thirty days of September equal uh, April, June, and November. Shut up. You get June. 30 days before it goes out of date. Uh, and we put it in. It said 30 days. It's now saying 28. So therefore, yeah. it was two days ago, Monday. Monday. And today is Thursday. Is it? Yeah. I thought it was Wednesday. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> what fucking chance have you got? Anyway, folks, this is the continuation of the perfect draft. Philips Perfect Draft from Beerhawk. Using the code BVM10, you will get 10% off. Now, unfortunately, um, you don't get the BVM10 code on the perfect draft machine. So, but it's already heavenly dis heavenly. He heavenly, it's probably oh, that is probably heavenly discounted. You said it wrong. <laughs> I know, no, I said it. I meant, I meant to say heavenly then on purpose because I do love you, sweetheart. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. Um, because um, I've completely lost it. I was talking to June. Uh, so yeah, it's heavenly discounted. Oh fucking hell! Heavenly. So do me out the H. You'll be all right. Heavenly, 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 Ever heavenly. It's already heavily discounted anyway, folks. Um, what you should have done, you should have got it on the last uh, month of BBM 10 code, then you would have already got it. But anyway, um, what it is, folks, uh, we have got the Perfect Draft Her Tog. Her Tog. Her Tog. Her, her, her Tog Yam. That could have been a good name for the puppy. Her Tog Yam. Her Tog Yam. Um, it's not a Viking beer. It's a, I think it's a German beer. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is it. So June wants to pull my lever. Pull your first pint. Pull it, go on, go. And you're not right. because I don't know what I'm doing. Right, I'm just going to turn the camera a little bit that way. There you go. Right, what do I do? Like that? Yeah. Go for it, Junie, baby. Oh, oh. It's squirting. Oh, <laughs> it's going too fast. <laughs> oh. Tilt the glass up a bit more. Like, why can't I tip it up? I'm coming out. Yeah, I'll I'll do it slow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. This is all trial and error, folks. You see, because what's going to happen? You're going to use the BBM 10 code. Ooh. And get one of these. And I think it's just made... Why are you shaking? Because it's coming too fast. Oh, that sounds familiar. <laughs> Look at the state of that. I'll have a fucking flake with that. You better go and get another pint glass. Let me have another go. All right. I'm going to get another pint glass out well, of the get, uh, get garage. Get so I can have one, please. You want a half? Yeah, you got off there. Yeah, froth. Half a froth. I'll tell you what to do, Judy, baby. What? Oh. We'll put it in this one. It's scaring me. We'll put it in this one. Where's your half glass? It's in there, it should be. Oh yeah, here it is. It's June's half glass. Ooh. It'll be alright, I said. 
It'll settle. Let me have another go. It's not as easy as it looks. June found that when she was walking the dogs one morning. It's quite good, really. You know, if you go around, if you do walk around villages, um, back in the day when people it's were just up, coming froth. What am I doing? I don't know, babe. Perhaps it's settling down. I don't know. Settling down. It's been set up for two days. I think Simon had this problem on his dinner. Yeah, I think he did. We should have asked him for some tips. Don't eat yellow snow. Oh. Uh, I'll give up. There must be a knack to it. I mean, that, that one's even worse, look. Yeah, hold on, there's got to be a knack to it. You have a go. I will do. Because you're a man, you might be able to do it better. All oh, right, that's about. Uh, right, here we go. Right, cleaning. Oh no, we're not cleaning. Ooh. Placing the keg. Right. Right, here we go. Hold the glass by the bottom or in the middle to make sure. Hold on, give me that. Oh. Well, put this in. Oh, I'll do it. No, I'll put that no, in. Put it in. no, do it in the pint one. No, uh, right, hold on. I'll try the froth. You try the froth, lover. Open the tap in one quick, smooth movement. Oh, I was too hesitant. Yes, that was it. You didn't want it to go off, did you? No. You've no. washed all your lippy off. You got all around your... <laughs> you look like you've been. One quick, swift movement. That's it, Junet. Be firm with it. Be firm. Don't be frightened. Look at that. Look at that! We are! Look at that! Love it! Right, alright. Ooh. Hey, look at that! Look at that! Simon, eat your heart out! <laughs> How much is that, sweetheart? Three pound and threepence. Three pound and threepence? Yes. What, really? In this day and age, that cost three pound three p? Three pound and threepence. I'll go, it's nice. Three pound like three p? So what you're saying is, We've got a six litre keg and it costs three pound per pint. Yeah, it's, 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 there's ten and a half pints per six litre, isn't there? Yeah. Ten so that works out three pound and threepence. Got off pints, fucking froth there. Oh, shut up. It's because I was frightened of it. Right, you're never frightened of anything hard in your hand. I was a bit pump virgin. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? You're impressed, aren't I you? I am, I am. Well, I've been going through the kegs. Yeah. And they do a Peaky Blinder beer. Yeah, but I like this. Yeah, well, if you know if you try, you don't know, do you? Is that camera on the piss? No, fuck it. This is a... What one swift, that? quick movement. No, no, it didn't work Whoa, on this one. It didn't work on this one. I bet it's just practice. We, we know it works. Yeah, I think I don't think I'd get enough an ang enough a, enough. angle. Is that heavenly and angly? Yeah. Look at that. Do you want to sit that one? Yeah. You ain't got COVID, have you? Oh, yeah. I mentioned the C word. Look at him drinking out of two hands like bloody Oliver. That is bloody lovely. It is. I'll tell you what, the temperature's fucking spot on. It is. You know, we watched um, some people on a, um, a boat, a narrowboat once, and uh, they were sad sods, really, because what they were doing, they were going down the pubs, and they were putting a thermometer in the uh, beer, oh, weren't yeah. they? yeah, the bloody thermometer, we're filthy. And they, right, and they were moaning, the beer's too warm, the beer's like two degrees too warm, blah, blah, blah. And they were like, really, and then like, it showed you a close-up of the thermometer, and the thermometer had like the lurgy on it, didn't it? it yeah, it was shit up. It was absolutely shit. His fingernails were all shit up and all. Oh, it's that's it. Is that it? That, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right. A bit frothy, that. You that's have to right. go. It's not as easy as it looks. I'm not saying it is. Oh, yeah, but I've got to drink, I've got to drink them. Things. I like that bit. What did we say it was? Yeah, uh, Hertog, Her, Yan. Hertog, Yan. 5.1%. Is that good, bad, or indifferent? That's about right, to be fair, babe. So I've just got to wiggle my mat up because I'm uploading the video. Oh, we could sit here and yeah, it's like being in a pub, it's a isn't it? Dangerous, that isn't it? It is. It is dangerous. <laughs> it is dangerous. It ought to have an X on it for dangerous. 
What? Mm. Or do you mean a D? Look <laughs> at your lipstick, you've got one. <laughs> ah, sod it. Yeah. That's it. I tell you what, this is good though, isn't it? Because you yeah. can just sit it there on the table, or shall I build a shelf and sit it on the shelf? No! No! I'm not having it. Sat you're not me, having it. On the kitchen table. You're not having it on the kitchen table. No, you'll have to find somewhere George on the George Michael did. Did it? Alright, oh, anyway. You, I want you to have a go. I will do. What? Oh, I've got to drink these. I mean, I'll drink this one, you drink that one. Well, you're drinking that one. I'm impressed with that. Mmm. Lovely bit. It is. And I wonder, I'm wondering if it's because it's in the... the um, it's made the better, PD. I think, by having it in a... Yeah. Mind you, it's a bit like when you go to a pub, innit? You can have as much beer as you like at home. It never tastes the same as it does in a pub. But this does. But that does, yeah. It must be something to do with it being... I don't know. But it's fucking brilliant, isn't it? You're going to let me keep it? Yeah. Of course I am. I'm not going to let you give it away, am I? No. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to get a keg of that Peaky Blinders as well. I want to use my own code i tell you what, that must be a good, there's no bitter aftertaste. No, there ain't. There? It's not like, I know, and now that she's going to sound stupid as well, but I prefer drinking bottles as well mm. from the yeah, supermarket. Yeah, I do. But that tastes better mm. than out of a bottle. Yeah. The thing is now, I'm feeling... That is like, you could imagine yourself sitting in a pub yard yeah. that. Yeah, you could, couldn't you? Yeah. Because you can't imagine sitting in a pub, <coughs> can you? This could be the way to go, right? With all what's happening in the world, Okay. Yeah, right. If you're at the at the wanker, are we playing helicopters? Yeah. <laughs> if you're at the wanker or the Queen's Head, yeah, or the King's Arms, yeah. <clears throat> excuse me. Right, and you've got this table service. What the pubs could do, pubs, if you're watching this, get some of these. Get some of these on a table. No, and that's get... no good because it's getting rid of the barmaids, isn't it? Yeah, but you're not allowed to do anything, are you? You're not allowed to. Right, you go to the anchor. Yeah. Right. You got poor Chelsea. Yeah. She's running around trying to sort everybody out yeah. and do everything. Yeah. You got to do all this logging and tracking and tracing. Yeah. But if you had one of these on each table, you'd be like, you just. And if all the kegs are like what lined up in the back in the fridge. Yeah, but not everybody on the same table wants to drink the same drink. Does have it? two then. Oh, well, now you're being stupid. Well, it's still bloody what, fortune. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, a keg on a table in a pub would take the pressure off from trying to serve beers and you can have your gin. Your phone's gone on, what's it like? It's all right now, look. Yeah, it just settles down. Yeah. I want you to pour one, though. See if you're any better than me. I bet you will be. Hey, well, that's going down nice, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Could, do, it. could do with some nuts. Yeah. Nuts yeah. or... Hazel nuts. Cashews. Cashews. Right, what I'm going to do... I'm just going to stop the video because I still think it's only set up for 15 minutes and then I'm going to set it off again. So don't move. <laughs> Told you not to move! You moved, didn't you? <laughs> you <laughs> oh, dear me. It's alright, isn't it? Just like that. Yeah. The, the trouble is, you could just quite easily sit If you here. do another beer garden, you could have one of them. In fact, shall we do the beer garden? Oh, come on, come on, we've got plans for it to be outside, haven't we? Yeah. Do it in the conservatory. Well, hopefully, if it all comes off to plan, uh, I've got a mate coming from work, and um, we could just sit here and do this, me and Ricky yeah. Cover. Yeah. Just sit here at the table doing it. I think, all right. We'd be like, um, not Ale and Pace, because they were shit. Who was the other one? The dead one? Um, Albert Tatlock. No! What the fucking hell is Albert Tatlock going to do? It's a bloody... <laughs> yeah, but he used to sit in the pub. Yeah, but he didn't have a perfect draft machine. Like, he, um... And obviously Tatlock. Oh, for fuck's Eden sake. Sharp. Smith and Jones. When they sit there like this. The big fatten. Yeah, And the true. other one. That's what me. Do you mean? <laughs> 
push this camera back a bit because we're, we're not going to it really. We're a bit too close. I don't want to be in it. Ah, we're all right, sure. Go on then, that's better. Right, let's get this better. It's like being at the pub now, isn't it? Ooh. Everybody in? Cracking. We want some beer mats and and that. You best rinse that out. And just give it a quick drop. Well, what am I going to rinse it? Because I might fall over the camera. So you reckon this could be a good present then, Juni baby? Do you know what? I'm really deal. I was a bit sceptical when you were, weren't you? Possibly yeah. a tooth out. Yeah, you were a bit sceptical, weren't you? I was sceptical. Because I've been on about one of these for quite a while. And I resisted. Yeah. She resists on most things, but in the end she does succumb. There you go. Right, you have a go. Right, so, it's one quick swift movement. That's it, you've got it. I think it, it might be that glass, you know. You'll have to try and fill this one up. I think what it is, I'm just wondering with that half pint glass, I don't think you can get the angle right on it. Cheers, Beer Hawk, and thank you once again for letting me represent your company and hopefully promote it well. People, use the code BVM10 and get 10% off on all deliveries to your door. I think it's £50 free delivery. Free. Orders over fifty pounds. Orders over fifty pounds. You get a free delivery. Yeah, so you only need two, two of them kegs. Two. You? If you just get yourself a perfect draft machine. Yeah. And then you just buy a couple of kegs. Well, it's going to be. Excuse me. That'd be lovely over Christmas, though, wouldn't it? It is. It's going to be lovely. It is. But can we take it off the table when I'm serving Christmas dinner? Why? Because where am I going to put my centerpiece? That is the centerpiece. I'll put some oil on it. <laughs> Because I, I thought that I don't think I was, yeah, I weren't quick enough. Yeah, you see, you're, you're frothing, I can't see. Yeah, you, you've got to be swift. Swift? Yeah. <sighs> I, 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 do you know what, folks? I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, one, because I look like I've got a beetroot on my fucking shoulders. <laughs> because I've been out in the cold all day. Right, it's got nothing to do with blood pressure or anything like that, so please do not worry about my health. Um, that's for me to do. And um, I want one of this for Christmas Day. I'd have loved to have like, mind you, it'd been just, Oh, that's the point. What? Well, no. What? Well, no, 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 I was going to say, right, if you get it on Christmas Day, you've got to get the old fella up early, and then you've got to get your this husband up. This would be good for your dad. Yeah. Your dad will love this because your dad's a professional pub goer, isn't he? Oh, yeah. But he's missing yeah. it terribly. It's been yeah. lovely to have bought him one we'll of them. We'll get him, we'll get him over and let him pull his own pint. And, no, uh, but he just settled down, but I mean, that was a right abortion, but it's all right now. Yeah. So, so I'm quite happy with this. Yeah. But it's, this is not a gassy beer, is it? No. Although I've been burping, but that's because I've just had well, a I'll tell you what, though, you can tell. It's a nice beer because I've had quite a lot. I've had about a pint and a half, Anna. Yeah, in the space of well, really nice beer that. You have to get me one of them for Christmas. What a okay. cake? One of them, whatever they are. You've w got the Ortogiano or Ortogiano. We've got the Hupler as well. Mine, that's for uh, me and Rita. I prefer this. Do you? Mm. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to get one of the the. Um, Peaky Blinders one. Um, what other one? What other flavours have we got? Other flavours. Um... I did the dither. You did, mate. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Right. Uh, perfect draft. Diet Kirk Grand. And then they've got that premium. Uh, they've got loads. Oh, the, and I'll tell you what. The British beers mixed case. That was good. Uh, Grand Leffe. Is that the... What, have they got a blonde Leffe? Because that, that was nice. Do you know what? This, this is not dissimilar to that, is it? I don't know, to be fair. Do you know what I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a connoisseur of beers at all. I just know if I like it. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, they've got... They've got um, Perfect Draft Quack. K-W-A-K. That's £41.90. 
Oh, went all cottony then. Cold blonde. Mm. Uh, perfect mm. draft. Triple car Melly Millet. That's forty-one pounds ninety. But with these, with these, you actually get beer tokens because when I received the box for this, I did actually get beer tokens in the uh, in the box to take. I suppose it's just to encourage you to carry on drinking with beer hawk, but you know. That that is really really nice. It does taste like the real thing. Yeah, you can get Bex, right? Bex, six litre Bex for twenty nine pounds ninety. So that would be less than three pound a pint. Yeah. And who doesn't like a Bex? Everybody likes Bex, don't they? Bex. Yeah. Uh, Ho Garden. Ho Garden. That's um, thirty pounds ninety. I mean, the more the, the left you want, the more expensive. But you, you get what you pay for. But this, this would do us when it's set. Yeah, I love that. Really do. Yeah. So. What is it? Is it just a beer or just a lager? Lager. It's just a lager, baby. It doesn't taste like lager. Yeah. Well, the but Germans it do it different, it don't they? It, but lately, I've stopped drinking lager yeah. unless it's got a bit of lime in it because I've found it very yeah. metallic. Now I don't know if that's because we've gener generally been having them out of cans because I don't like beer out of cans anyway. Yeah. But that just tastes like you're having it in a pub. Well, it is good, but it, it, but that's the Germans all over, isn't it? They go hard, they go fast, and then they die off at the end and get beat. Mm. But anyway, it's good. Mm. Mind you, I can feel it now. Can you? Mm. Do, 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 do. Look at you, you're necking it like a fucking plug hole. You're supposed to take your time and enjoy it and savour it. How bloody enjoying it. This is fucking brilliant. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Ain't this good? It's, it is. It's really, really good. And the thing is, you're just sitting there, talking shit, drinking beer. Yeah. Perfect. Isn't it? Absolutely. I'll tell you what, I'm really looking forward to Enrique covers of it, because it's going to be oh funny. God. Is it going to be like you and Bloody Big Dog? <sighs> <laughs> The thing with Riki is, he's a bit worse than Big Dog. Yeah, but you both thought you were so sober, yet you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Big Dog went out to the taxi, tripped over his own feet, yawping in the cul-de-sac. <laughs> and he did go out dressed like that, didn't he? He went out at night in the Lederhosen's. If you haven't seen the Lederhosen's, the uh, Oktoberfest beer, uh, beer hawk review. That is really uh, good. I'm, I'm impressed and it takes a lot to, because this sort of thing doesn't yeah, appeal to me at all. it doesn't at all. I won't have a food mixer, I won't have a toaster because I can't bear having loads of gadgets. But yeah, I love this. This is good, isn't it? A lot of the little things gone down. The, uh, it's got, you've got 28 days it's left. 28 days, but we've um, had quite a lot. <laughs> well, what we had? We must have had four pints between yeah, us. Yeah, four pints between us. Um, no, it's just not ideal. We absolutely love it. Are yeah. you full of wind, babe? Or? No, it's just a bit of a burp. Yeah. It's cracking. I'm really, really impressed. So if June's impressed, that's, it's just a win-win situation. Yeah, it's good. Oh, shit, I think he's gone off. I've got to keep that on also. There we go. Oh, four minutes left to upload. Uh, yeah, so right, we're going to wind this one up, folks. Um, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. There will be more of these. Um, well, we could have this one of them when we're doing a live next time, couldn't we? Yeah. Because there'll be a live coming up soon, won't there? Yeah, we've got a live coming up soon uh, with the beer hawk and um, that kind of. Well, it'll just be a live, won't it? Yeah, it'll it'll be just nice be a to live, use that. We'll just keep topping it up with this. Yeah. We'll set the camera up there. And we can just have this in the middle and we just keep topping it up. Yeah, it's a bit dangerous for Junie baby though. Yeah. Mm. Ah, fuck it. It's been a danger in your life. Been a danger. Well, do you know what? I'm so bloody fed up. That I mean, that's giving me a bit of excitement. <laughs> Making a bit of a froth, isn't it? Getting your hands on some yeah. hard and giving it a good pull back. And I pulled one decent pint. You did? It was just, I think it is one of those things You've got to do it quick. You've got to do it yeah, quick. Don't be frightened this, of it. Don't this could hesitant. be good for people because we have actually set it all up. Our people would set it up at home. You do not read the instructions, you just get stuck in. All you've got to do is watch me and Junie make complete arses of ourselves and uh, enjoy it. Right, so 
Don't forget folks, please use the code BBM10. I know I keep saying it, but they are a very good company and they have um, paid me to do this. And I'm so appreciative of it. I love it, absolutely love it. All right, folks, gonna leave that one there and we will be back another day. Later.